Makes you think I need a path. Someone like you is only here by choice. Now you think, because your mommy and your daddy got shot, you know about the ugly side of life, but you don't. This is a world you never understand, and you always fear. But you don't understand. As a man, I'm flesh and blood. I can be ignored, I can be destroyed, but as a symbol, as a symbol, I can be incorruptible. I can be everlasting, something elemental, something terrifying. What the hell are you? I'm Batman. There are some film series that always feel like everything that could be said about them has already been said. And the Batman film series certainly fits that description. And especially the Dark Knight trilogy. But with a new Batman film on the horizon, I've decided to finally do a video on a movie I love, Batman Begins. I feel that Batman Begins is easily one of the best origin films we've gotten in the superhero genre. This movie just has a perfect three-act structure to me. Act 1. We get the backstory of Bruce, his parents' murder, and his training with the League of Shadows. Act 2. Bruce discovering Batman and then attempting to balance between Batman and being Bruce Wayne. And Act 3. Batman in full glory and the reveal that Bruce's mentor is actually his enemy bent on destroying Gotham. Not all superhero movies handle this structure as well as Batman Begins does. In this movie, we get to see a real growth of the character of Bruce Wayne. What can be said about Christian Bale's turn as Bruce Wayne and Batman that hasn't already been said? It's phenomenal, particularly in Begins, because Bale has to play Bruce at three distinct points in his life. The angry college student, the apprentice, and the final stage, which I call the discovery stage. I call it this because Bruce is really figuring out who he is. How can he strike fear into criminals? How can he disguise himself in public? And most importantly, how can he not lose himself? By the end of the movie, you actually feel like the character has been on a true journey of discovery. And I always feel like these lines show that. The place is a mausoleum. If I have my way, I'll pull the damn thing down brick by brick. What will you do? Rebuild it. Just the way it was, brick for brick. The change of Bruce from an angry college student, ready to tear down his family's home as an attempt to dull his pain, to a man who is willing to accept how his past experiences are important in making him who he is today. Of all the characters in Batman Begins, I always feel like Katie Holmes's Rachel Dawes gets a lot of flack. And normally, comparisons are brought up with Maggie Gyllenhaal's performance in The Dark Knight. And if I'm being honest, I prefer Holmes. I feel like her character is meant to be the light in Bruce's life. She is his lost childhood love, and the chemistry between Bale and Holmes is fantastic. I always love how no matter what act Bruce is trying to play, he can't do it with Rachel, because she is his true love. I can't fully explain it, but when I watch this movie, I always go, yeah, this is who Bruce Wayne would be in love with. And I kind of wish we could have gotten a version of Dark Knight with Holmes in it. Liam Neeson's performance in this film is stellar. In the first act of the movie, he plays the perfect mentor to Bruce. He is forcing Bruce out of his comfort zone and making him really confront his past and try to grow from it, like a good mentor would. Bruce really does respect Ducard. And you get the sense that he is filling the role of a father that Bruce has been missing in his life, which is why the twist works so well. For Bruce, seeing his mentor, his father figure, actually turn out to be the ultimate evil seeking to destroy his city is perfect. And for Roz, seeing his ultimate pupil betray him, it isn't just a simple battle between a good guy and a bad guy. It's a father and son being separated by their strong ideals, and it's what makes the movie work so well. What a great depiction of Alfred. You can just feel the love he has for Bruce. When Bruce returns and tells Alfred about his plans, Alfred is so supportive because finally Bruce is finding something to live for. You get the sense that Alfred watched Bruce grow up with no real direction. And now, although an extreme one, he at least has a path. Michael Caine was just the perfect Alfred for this film. Unlike other depictions of Jim Gordon, in Begins, he really feels like he's working on his own. Almost like every other cop is either on the take or doesn't really care about the city. 
Gary Oldman just plays the part so well. From his first scene, you feel like he became a police officer because he wanted to help people. And now Batman is actually trying to do that. The end conversation works so well because Jim knows how insane this whole idea is. But he also understands Batman might be the only solution to Gotham's problems. I adore Batman Begins. This is one of the few films where you see Bruce Wayne go through an arc. And we get to follow him every step of the way. The movie shows how and why a depressed rich kid would turn towards this life. It is in many ways the ultimate superhero origin movie. The characters and story are done to such a spectacular level that talking about it really doesn't do it true justice. I really hope that I've inspired you to rewatch Batman Begins and see what a brilliant film it is. I never said thank you. And you'll never have to.